Listen, we were overdue for a Rogan Destroys Hollywood video, and I'm going to enjoy doing this a lot because this is an epic rant from Rogan. I'd seen this like a month ago, and I swore that I had done a video about it. I looked, I'm like, dude, did I not cover this? And I didn't, so we're going to cover that, and then I'm going to show you some insane headlines about trans athletes and some other ludicrous stuff that has come out in the last couple days that is directly related to this rant that Rogan goes on. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this, and that is what we're going to do. We're going to laugh together, and then we're probably also going to get pretty mad, you know, just thinking about some of this stuff that we saw. Because one of the uh, NCAA women's basketball coaches in her press conference was like, yeah, we should definitely let dudes play in the women's NCAA. You're like, what are you talking Why? Why would that make sense to you? Let's have one dude. Let's just have one. Okay, I'm going to tell and in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why that is so ludicrous. Like, like why you cannot do that and it's not just the obvious right like it's not just the like well obviously they're better it's the application if taken to the extreme you have to make rules like that dude you can't just be like well what if there's like this one girl who happened to have been born a guy and you know she wants to play let's let her play it's like you can't make rules like that that cannot be how you govern okay so let's go ahead and uh start with this rogan rant which is hilarious and then we're gonna go from there now if you've not subscribed to my channel yet i would appreciate it if you would do that we're gonna handshake it i don't ask for much i just ask that if you're gonna watch my content you click subscribe it'll take you two seconds i know you probably don't subscribe to a lot of channels just click subscribe it helps me out a lot helps with the algorithm and if you could like this video that would also be amazing also you should go check out me and gabrielle's new channel in this one we are talking about seeing uh, a bunch of children sucking on the toes of teachers in a shocking video that will make you want to vomit your lunch onto someone's face here's a little taste of that we're going to talk about some teachers that are in trouble and some disgusting disgusting so for those stuff. of y'all on audio only this headline says oklahoma high school fundraiser students licking toes etc happened at another school <gasps> question mark exclamation oh, point wow. question mark like, ugh. okay so yeah if you want to check out that story Link to our new channel is in the description. You guys will love it. We're just going to keep on cranking out content until everybody loves us. And that is my beautiful wife in the videos. So go give that a look after you watch this video. Now let's jump into Rogan's rant and let's all nod our heads together as we agree with every single thing that he says. Boom. Over time, this is what we're seeing. So over time, you and I, who used to be on the left... Are now like, where's the left? Where are you guys? You yeah. guys are so far away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I yeah. can't even see you. Yeah, yeah. You're out of your mind. You're 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 f chopping dicks off and, and giving little kids <laughs> yeah, yeah. hormone blockers. You have no idea what the long term consequences are. You're ignoring the health risks. You won't even talk about the health risks. Yeah. You, you use things like g gender affirming care. What are you saying? Yeah, what does that mean, dude? Gender affirming care. You know what gender affirming care would be? Would be you go talk to a psychiatrist. I don't know what it is, doc. I have a penis, but I've always felt like I'm a girl. Oh, okay. Well, you are crazy. Okay. You have a mental illness. Doesn't mean that there's no, no fix. If we go through the process of years of therapy and you still feel that way, fine. You know, fine. You're a grown up. Do what you want to do. But kids on hormone blockers, what are you talking about? Cutting off uh, cutting off kids that are teenagers, boobs, and dicks? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? How can you think you're on the right side of this? Yeah. What are you saying when you're talking about children? Yeah. Why are you just accepting this? Because it, it's, it's a noble thing to blurt out. So everybody goes, you're on the right team. That's what it is. Yeah. It's not like, oh, my God, what are we doing to kids? It's not like, oh, my God, what are we doing to San Francisco? It's not like, oh, my God, why are we letting these violent criminals out of jail? It's like, yeah. oh, my God, why are we defunding the f police? Yeah. Who thought that was going to be a good idea? Raise your hand. And I want everyone, you need to own that now. You know what I mean? Like That's one of my biggest pet peeves own that dude don't pretend you didn't say defund the police now you know what i mean don't try to pretend that you were not on board with defund the police now that your cities are imploding okay don't pretend you didn't support the district attorney whose policy it is to not prosecute anyone who steals less than you know three thousand dollars from a store dude check this out i saw this this documentary someone did about san francisco speaking of san francisco and one thing that people do not know, even people who live out there that I've talked to about this, what they don't know is that there is a nightly flea market on Market Street in San Francisco. If you know San Francisco, it's like a central area in the, in the city 
where you can go and you can buy toothpaste, you can buy deodorant, you can buy t-shirts, you can buy basically anything you could have bought at Walgreens because it is a cottage industry. People will go into these stores, they will rob them blind, and then they will go to Market Street and people will come buy that stuff from them for half price, okay? Now, if you have ever bought a single thing from downtown San Francisco for half price and then you complain about the crime, get out of here with that. Get the fuck out of here. That's your fault. As much as it's the district attorney's fault who's intentionally eroding the fabric of society by not prosecuting criminals, it's your fault for supporting them doing that. You can't have it both ways, okay? So, and and by the way, this is my absolute favorite thing to bring up that some reason regular mainstream Democrats seem to not know, okay? They all know that the process of electing, you know, uh, electing candidates across the board is corrupt. They all know that, right? Whoever gives the most money, that's how they get into office. And so you end up with people going in who owe favors to people who have corporate interests, of course. In many cases, corporate interests. In others, much bigger interest than that. So as an example, if you go and you go, let's list all the district attorneys across the, across the country that are implementing these policies that are destroying the cities from the inside out, destroying them. Like these cities are falling apart. And they're all getting money from the George Soros foundations, all of them, okay, without fail. Every single DA that's implementing this stuff is getting money from a George Soros foundation. What does that tell you? Okay, because they've they've read so much bullshit about how the right just demonizes George Soros. George Soros is actually a good dude. And you're like, okay, how do you explain it then? How do you explain how do you explain him being responsible for every single district attorney that is destroying the cities from the inside out? Okay? He doesn't fund every district attorney, but the ones that he does, they all do this. He definitely funded uh Fox, the one who let Jesse Smollett go. Just in case anyone has any conspiracy theories about who is really behind the Jesse Smollett thing. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. You can't say any of those things. If you say any of those things, you you're said it. Austin people are great people. They're really nice. They're nice. They're not mm-hmm. heads. They're not Hollywood people. They're not lost in this fake world of leftist ideology that everybody's trapped in. They're just people. They're just regular people, man. And those people exist outside of these these blue bubbles where everyone's gone insane. Well, I used to be a part of the blue bubble. I I was 100% a left-leaning person who lived in Los Angeles. I was 100%. I never voted Republican my whole life. I was very left-leaning. Very different left-wing bubble, though. Especially with, like, any social issues. When it comes to financial things, I'm a little bit more conservative. But at the end of the day... I'm way more left than I am right. But California went nuts, man. It's gone like full communist. It's out of its f-ing mind. And their approach to law enforcement is so insane. It's so insane. The no cash bail, the letting people out for committing violent crimes, the f-ing st- not stopping people for stealing up to whatever money it is. What is it, $900 now? I think they raised it. I think they made it a little higher. Same- yeah, they're like... Okay, well, this is a really serious problem. Let's make it like 1200 Wait, what? They raised it. So that's even worse, actually. That's even worse. They won't prosecute you up to like 1500 now or whatever? God, dude. San Francisco is non-existent. San Francisco, most of San Francisco is emptied out of like big chain stores and big department stores. Uh, they, I, I, would, I won't even do stand-up there anymore. It's crazy. Hey, why do you think that is? Why are all of the stores leaving? Is this rocket science? If you legalize shoplifting, why do you think they're all leaving? Like, you know what I mean? You legalized shop, you you legalized theft. What's, what's their business? Having things in stock that they can then sell. (laughs) And you legalized theft. Oh, and they're leaving. Wow. I wonder who could be responsible for that. And yet, if you talk to almost any Democrat in the Bay area and you explain to them, you're like, this is your side that did this. You're just not paying attention, dude. They are literally going like this. Look at how terrible Trump is. And they're all, God, Donald Trump. It's all any, if you do anything that is not elect these psychos, you are a MAGA Republican. And they like buy this shit. You're like, dude, are you guys, you think of yourselves as smart people. Why are you so fucking dumb? How are you falling for this? You, you recognize the crime problem. 
Is this a Republican thing that's happening? There's not one Republican DA that is responsible for legalizing shoplifting. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? It's, they now. ruined it. They ruined the city. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You can bring it back. The structure's still there. But yeah, you yeah. have to have some hardcore Rudy Giuliani type mother come in there and knock heads. Wow. And nobody wants that. You nobody know, wants that. They're peace, love, and granola and fucking wear a mask. Hey, how peaceful and granola is it when people have to leave their windows open in their car everywhere they go so that they don't get their windows smashed? You know? It's like, is that granola? Is that peace? You feel safe on the streets? How's the crime rate? Is that granola? The whole point is you have harsh, I mean, not even necessarily that harsh, just realistic punishment for criminals so that criminals are not out on the street. The situation with the dude who choked the guy in New York and the guy died, why, why did that happen again? Oh, right, that happened because the guy who had assaulted a bunch of old people in the, in the train stations shattered some 70-year-old woman's nose, one of four senior citizens that he had attacked in the very recent past. If I did that, if I did that, that was on, on video. If I rolled up on a 70-year-old woman and smashed her face, what do, you think that, what do you think happens to me? I get thrown in prison for two decades correctly. That's exactly what should happen. But just because some guy's black and he's mentally ill, they just let him out? Like, what are you doing? How, how can you justify that decision? He's a danger to society. So you leave the dangerous society out. He ends up on the subway. He threatens an entire car of people. You leave it up to a, a hero civilian to protect them. And because while applying a chokehold that he shouldn't have had to do in the first place, but he's protecting the train full of people from this lunatic, he, the guy ends up dying and you want to throw him in Rikers Island for a decade? Same people, same fucking DA that let the other guy out? How could anyone vote for this? Like, how could you possibly vote for this? How could you possibly consider yourself a smart person and vote for that? I'm in the middle now. I'm in the middle. I'm in the I middle. Never, I never thought I would ever never. say that. Never, never. Never. It, it only happened in this last year. Right, exactly. I just went, I can't do it anymore. You know what I mean? People that you thought were aligned with you are like now, now like mad at you about shit. They're in a cult. They're in a cult. It's, it's got all, I mean. Correct. Mark Andreessen, who's a brilliant venture capitalist guy, explained it to me. In, in, in very clear terms, like what the definition of a cult is, how you can get excommunicated, how you get shamed for having differing opinions, the group think, the whole, he's like, it's a cult. And he's right. He's yeah. 100% right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just hard to say because then people in the cult will attack you. But they're not attacking you for a reasonable, it's not logical, like yeah. the way they're attacking you. They're attacking like someone attacks religious beliefs. Yeah. And some of these religious beliefs would get... It gets into these weird gray areas, like like tr trans people in women's bathrooms. Like, <laughs> Jesus, don't even get me started on that one, dude. Don't even get me started on that one. On men who come into Planet Fitness and just whip their dick out on young girls, and the young girls who complain about it, they get kicked out of the gym. Uh, I, you know, I'm in the women's, I'm in the women's locker room. I, I felt like I could rely on this place to not have a a convicted flasher just flashing his penis at me and waving it around. I, I thought that that was a thing that I could rely on. They're all, you thought wrong, bitch. And now we're taking away your membership, you transphobe. You fucking transphobe. Get out of here, transphobe. We don't have room for people who don't love everyone the same as they love their white, cisgendered compadres. This is not that kind of gym, okay? It's not, everyone's not gonna be white. Everyone's not gonna be cisgender. And if you think that that's the kind of gym that you want, then you need to find another gym. Because here, if a man has a penis and he says that he's a woman and he wants to wiggle it around like this in your face, little 13-year-old girl, then the best thing you can do is ask if he wants you to it. You know, that's the best thing you could do because that would be the most trans-inclusive thing that you could do. And anything other than that, you know, I don't want to look at a penis. I never have, I've never even seen one before. I live with a single mother. I've actually never seen it. That's the first time I've seen a penis and it's kind of weird. I don't feel like I should have to look at that. Get out of here, transphobe. Get out of here. We don't have time for your anti-LGBTQ Trump-derived rhetoric. Get out. Get out of here, little girl. You should probably be, well, you'll be better off at Gold's. That's where all your meathead MAGA people are. Go, go over to Gold's with the sweaty MAGAs. Fucking joke. Fuck you. Sorry. As who? Yeah. Says who? 
How do you know that's a real trans person? How do you not know that's a creep that wants to pull his dick out in front of kids? Because yep. those are real. We and spa. If you, yeah. And, and if all you, that guy was a convicted uh, sex offender. Yeah. Yeah. And he was doing that. Look, those guys are real. It doesn't mean trans people aren't real also, but those guys are real. Yeah. And to even say that those guys are real, you get excommunicated. Exactly. 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 These people are the worst. All right, so let's switch gears to some good news, and then I'll show you uh, a very famous uh, female or women's basketball coach who just won the national championship who disagrees vehemently with this particular story, which is utterly insane. Uh, but predictable, predictable, you know, because there are a lot of gay women's basketball players which somehow they've gotten their brains twisted that if you're a lesbian, that means you need to support men pretending that they're girls and coming and beating the shit out of you in sports. Explain that to me. I explain how the lesbian community got tricked into this. You're the ones, you guys are the ones getting fucked here, dude. Why We're defending you. Do you understand that? Like, that's the thing that's so crazy. Like, you know, lesbian basketball players who are supporting men coming and playing in the WNBA. Do you understand? We are help. We are. We think we're defending you. We are not. Ad, we're not adversaries. Okay. We're trying to be allies with you. We're saying men should not be able to just call themselves Cynthia and go into the WNBA and dunk in your face. We are trying to protect you. Why are you arguing against us? I don't understand. Now. The National Association of uh, Intercollegiate Athletics, the governing body for mostly small colleges, announced Monday policy that they will ban transgender athletes from competing in all women's sports. So that's the story. I mean, there's not really much to it, uh, you know, beyond that. But here, a much, uh, you know, more visible story is, uh, let, me, let me resize this for you guys so you can actually see it. Um, wow, that is a much larger headline, okay? So Don Staley... Media coverage may have influenced answer on trans athletes and women's sports outkick writers. Okay, so bottom line is, I saw this myself. They asked her whether they thought, now she just won the national championship. Uh, South Carolina went undefeated to beat Kathleen Car uh, uh, Kathleen Car what? Um, Caitlin Clark, Jesus. I just watched all her games. I forgot her name already. Uh, Caitlin Clark just, uh, you know, they beat her in the national championship and it was a really impressive game. They have this center. That's like the female Shaq who's going to the WNBA. She'll probably be the second pick after Caitlin Clark. Anywho, but the coach after going undefeated and winning the national championship, they asked her, uh, whether or not she thinks that, uh, trans women should be able to play, uh, in NCAA women's basketball. And she's like, yes, I do. And you're like, why, why on earth would you think that? So you're telling, because here's the thing, this is what I was saying in the, in the intro where I'm like, you can't govern like that. The point, here's exactly what my point is. All right. Do you think that she would support that the second that like, let's say Iowa next year recruited the top four trans female, you know, the trans female basketball players from high school. So like the three, they went and got the three best ones, the ones that are just, you know, dunking on fools and are like, yeah, I'm a girl, I'm a girl. You know, I'm a girl. And then they went out and Iowa whipped your ass in the finals because that's exactly what would happen. You really think, do you really think that you'd support it then? Of course not, because they're not thinking. They're just like, this is what I'm supposed to say. Yeah, you should let them play. And you're like, okay, but think it through, dude. Did you not watch Leah Thomas? Did you not see how this played out? It's it's fine that Leah Thomas won all the national championship. Like, give me a break. One, you know, broke the records, the all-time records, power lifters breaking the record. You're cool with that? That makes sense to you? Or is this like what Rogan said? It's a cult and you're not allowed to say what you actually think because there's no way you actually think that. You can't. It's not possible. Or you haven't thought it through. Because if, if it's like, if, if you're thinking about like, well, it's only going to be like one or two people, maybe that's not what the rule is. That is not what the rule is. If you're saying you support them playing, that means all of them can. Every single dude could just be like, yeah, I'm a girl now. I'm a girl. And they can go to the WNBA and make money. And let's say, let's say, uh, you know, Caitlin Clark ends up making the, you know, the average basketball uh, or WNBA salary more. The the top players make like 240K right now. So let's say some, some dude who didn't go to, you know, like went to college, didn't really pay attention, has no career prospects. Like, shit, man, maybe I'll just go play in the WNBA for the next 25 years. Yeah, I'm a girl, you know. Or it's an actual trans athlete, but it's someone like Leah Thomas, and then there's a team that's stacked with three of them, and they just win all the way through. You think it's fair that they win the national championship? Of course not. Dude, it's not fair. 
It's literally exactly the same as you know the other issue that the people on that side, the far left, that they can't, they are not allowed to disagree with is anything related to abortion. Okay, so like if I was to say I think that aborting a baby past twelve weeks is wrong and evil, right? Because at that point, you actually, you could look. It's like, dude, this baby has a head, arms, fingers, toes. Like, this is a baby, you know? I'm like, look, if a girl doesn't want to have a baby, I'm not going to force her to do it. But you have to do it in this amount of time. Otherwise, all of a sudden, now you're like straight up really, uh, you know, like without any possible reasonable argument, killing a baby, whatever. I'm not getting into the semantics of it. We're not trying to get into abortion. But let's say that that's your, your position. That seems reasonable, right? And the people on the far left are all, no, you should be able to abort the baby all the way up to birth. They're all come again. They're all, it's a woman's choice. It's her body. You're like, yeah, the thing is though, it's not her body though, because what you're saying is you should be able to kill a V like a viable baby that like the only reason it's not on its own is because it just happens to still be in the month. Like you're just like, yeah, let's just kill it. Cause that's psychopathic. And they're like, well, it's not like women are just going to be doing that. You're like, but that's the rule you're trying to set. You're trying to set the rule that a woman could do that. That she could just change her mind when she's eight months pregnant, nine months pregnant, and she's like, no, get rid of it. And it would be legal for some psychopathic doctor to just go do that. You, that's the rule you want? Because you can't think in your mind of you doing that? Okay, well, dude, I understand you don't know what it's like to be some sick, you know, pedo flasher that would pretend to be a girl in order to go into the locker room and then, you know, flash your dick at people. But like, you understand those people do exist and you're the one who's setting the rules to enable them to do that. And then people who complain get thrown out of the gym or go to jail if it was up to you guys. It's ridiculous. They're indefensible positions. It's embarrassing. You guys are a fucking joke. Now, let's continue on to this story. So, uh... You know, this is like, this is how NBC News covers this stuff, right? More than half of 2023's most challenged books have LGBTQ themes. So this book right here, Gender Queer, I bought it. Because this is like the number one book that everyone's like, dude, this is like, they're teaching this to kids. I bought it. Okay, I started looking through it. I'm like, all right, so this is what? Just about like a girl who grew up kind of like in this hippie comp. Whoa. There's stuff in this book. Dude, you can't. I, <laughs> I'm not even going to talk about it. It's gross. Okay, that book is now, well, it's in a trash, like, you know, dump somewhere. I threw it away, obviously. But like the number of books challenged in the US in 2020 spiked 65% over the previous year. Yeah, that's because regular folks started waking up to what's in these books and what you're teaching kids. You are indoctrinating them into believing in things that are insane. This is Chicago, uh, you know, principal of that school who brought in a, you know, brought in like, like um, LGBT educators who showed teenagers how to use sex toys, butt plugs, vibrating butt plugs that got caught on, uh, you know, Project Veritas. And he's like, and you know, they're all, they're all, do you know, did any of the parents have problems with it? Did you tell the parents? Like, no, I didn't tell the parents. Like, did you, so they, none of them had a problem with it. And he's like, it's queer sex. It's queer sex. And you're like, God, I really wish they wouldn't have banned that one word. There's one word that I would love to call you, guy. Not gay people, you. You, personally. A person who really wants to educate my teenage daughter about a butt plug. You think that that's something you shouldn't have to tell the parents? That you're going to teach my 14-year-old daughter about inserting inanimate objects in her ass? You really think that that's a thing? That you're on the right side of history on this, you fucking freak? Okay, this is going to go bad from here. I'm actually just going to uh, cut this off. Actually, real quick. Uh, okay, so amid book bans, DEI cuts, and don't say gay laws. Don't say gay laws. <laughs> Fucking don't say gay laws. So for those of you who have never actually looked into this, you want to know what don't say gay laws are? Don't teach sex ed to children under seven years old. Okay, that's what the law is. Not don't say gay, don't say anything. Don't say anything about sex to kids who are seven or under. That's what the law is. And then the few people who are advocates for those for, you know, or like, you know, are kind of like LGBTQ, you know, supportive, whatever they, when you actually get them to read it and they realize that they've been lied to by the media, then what the, the one thing that they hold on to is they're all, yeah, but did you read the wording on the high school teachers? And you're like, yeah, I did. They're all, it says don't teach inappropriate 
sexual content all the way up till they're 18. Right. Yeah, I know. That is what it said. Like, as an example, teaching kids how to use butt plugs, teenagers, would probably fall into that. <laughs> well, it can be interpreted however they want. And so people can lose their jobs and even go to jail. You're like, I don't think it says they can go to jail, but uh, lose their jobs. Absolutely. Do you want someone teaching your children who are 14 years old how to insert a vibrating butt plug into their ass? Is that something that you want? Is that, I mean, like that seems reasonable to you? Um, I mean, I don't know about that particular example. Right. But that's what we're talking about. Okay. That's enough. I love you guys. Bye.